Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix release update for Windows 10 22H2, which will be KB5061087. And that's currently been finalized with the release preview channel insiders and the update rolled out to the insiders late yesterday in my region on the 12th of June. Now, because it is in its final stages of testing, the update, I would suggest, will start rolling out Tuesday the 24th. If not that day, it'll roll out into the rest of the week. So just a quick overview as more or less what to expect in this next optional update, which will be a non-security bug fix update. Now, there's quite a bit going on with this update. So I'm just going to give you the highlights. Um, there's quite a few fixes taking place under the hood, but just what I think you may be interested in. Now, first of all, they've updated the mobile operator profiles. That's the country and operator settings asset profiles. Microsoft says it's fixed an issue affecting component object model com functionality on Windows platforms where remote com activations were failing with error 0x8001011. And then Microsoft is also upgraded the version of the curl tool included in windows to version 8.13.0 so and if you don't know what the curl tool is used for it's used in command lines on scripts to transfer data and basically microsoft has included better performance and improved security with that latest upgrade to the curl tool and then there is a couple of new improvements for app defaults, which is a new feature with three main improvements. And this is for the default app. So if we head to our settings, apps, default apps, Microsoft says that it's rolling out some small changes in the EEA. So this is region specific for default browsers via the set default apps page. And the first improvement, Microsoft says that additional file and link types will be set for the new default browser if it registers them. The next improvement, the second, the new default browser will be pinned to the taskbar and the start menu, unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. And Microsoft also says there is now a separate one-click button for browsers to change your .pdf default if the browser registers for the .pdf file type. So three improvements listed as a new feature for app defaults rolling out to users in the EEA. And then Microsoft says that it's fixed an issue affecting the complete removal of unused language packs and feature on demand packages. Apparently this led to unnecessary storage use and increase in Windows update installation time. So that's quite an important fix. And also fixed an issue affecting USB connected multifunction printers with dual protocol interfaces where scanning may fail and prevent use of the operating system's built in scanning functionality. And then we get two important start menu fixes. The first is Microsoft says that it's fixed an issue causing jump lists to disappear from the start menu. And this was actually a known issue. A couple of weeks ago which I was letting you guys know about and now it seems that Microsoft is rolling out an official fix if you still are affected by that problem for those start menu jump lists and then the second fix is they fixed an issue where the start menu was not starting after installing an update so two important fixes for the start menu and here's one I'm happy to see and I was actually asked a question about this the other day in the comments so if we head to our system about page and we head right down to the bottom microsoft said it's fixed an issue where the about page as you can see was showing version 2009 instead of version 22h2 and i was asked a question about that the other day and it's nice to see that finally this little issue has been fixed and it's been like it for quite some time but nonetheless better late than never and as mentioned guys over and above that there are a couple of under the hood fixes but that's more or less what i think most viewers of this channel would be interested in and this is our next optional update 
5061087 that will be rolling out for Windows 10 22H2 over the next coming days. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.